uh, for those who do not know me, my name is uh, Dr. Nilesh Mehta, uh, dear friend of uh, Jag Mohan. And uh, it gives me tremendous amount of pleasure and it's a huge privilege to welcome the one and only Farooq Maneksha Engineer. Up went the finger, up went the hand, caught the duster. And the hand that caught the duster was none other than Farooq Engineer. The quick reflexes of this young man at that time is what eventually led him to become one of India's finest wicketkeeper batsmen. So your recollection about uh, Don Basco and the Lomo incident, Parupai? Now can I tell you the correct word? <laughs> my hand didn't go up at all. My hand went on side because my classmate was a very famous actor called Shashi Kapoor. Oh. You heard Shashi Kapoor? Yeah. He was a really good looking guy, you know. But we were best friends from kindergarten to 10th standard in Don Bosco. And if I go into Hindi or what are you, Gujarati or Hindi? Marathi. 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 Well, Sashi was my last man. We used to sit at the last bench and, and yap away. Gappai Marathi. And suddenly, this Mr. Lobo, those hard dusters, wooden dusters, and he had a crack aim. He should have been a cover point for India, I think. And he used to aim right for the head. And he used to bleed. You know, nowadays, if he did that, he'd probably go in jail. But that, in our time, some just does that. So the duster was coming right to Shashi's face. And suddenly I saw this duster in the corner of my eye. And I put my hand out, which was literally an inch from his face. And I used to always teach Shashi in later years. So it was sideways and uh, otherwise we were very very dear friends throughout our life, throughout our career. I live in England but I used to go and see Shafi every time I was in Bombay, we used to have lunch together and it was so sad to finish up in a wheelchair and uh, we used to live in a place called Juhu, near Prithvi Theatre. And uh, so we used to from Dada Pasi Colony. I'm from Dada Pasi Colony. My mom and dad, extremely grateful to my parents. And that's why, Jack Moji, I hope you don't mind me mentioning your dear mother passing away and how much love and respect that he had for his mom. And I felt like that when my mom passed away. So it is such a such a blow to to us. Mother is mother after all, you know. And uh, she never saw me play. She died at a very young age. And uh, I was playing in Saurashtra, in fact. And I was called from a rugby rugby match. My parents had never interrupted me from a cricket match before. But I was told that your mother is still in Tata Memorial Hospital, which is like a cancer hospital, you know. And she was taken there for observation. <laughs> then I was told, uh, you know, she won't even last the night. So I was with her by her bedside all night. And I'm actually also crying. She had to put back her hand on my head and said, Son, don't cry. I promise to come back to you as your first daughter. And my mom's name was, was Minnie Vinas. And when I got the news that my wife delivered our first daughter, I was playing in England. In fact, I was playing the Lord's Test match. And <clears throat> Her Majesty the Queen was there. And the telegram, those days telegrams, you know, no. So they sent a telegram to the hotel where we were staying, which was 100 yards from the ground. The telegram was given, read by the Billy Griffin, the Secretary of the MCC, who was the long room. It was a tradition. The Queen met both the teams on the morning of a test match in the long room at Lords or on the outfield, just outside the pavilion. So Billy Griffin saw this telegram, he was looking to the back, he was 
<coughs> when he read the good news, he must have told the queen to give me the message. So the queen comes to me and says, they always call you by your surname. He says, engineer, I've got some wonderful news for you. Now I knew my wife was expecting any day. So I, I said, what's it, a boy or a girl, man? She said, well, what do you want? I said, a girl. She said, where do you got her? And that's the opening paragraph in my book. I only got about 10 copies or something here, the better three, more. But whatever else, I'm, I don't know if Nilesh or Jagmandi has mentioned that I, I've got a charity. My, my foundation is to support homeless children in India. You know, for that, my wife and I do a lot for them. These are young children who have been abused by their own relatives and all that. They run away from their homes. They also have railway children, you know. They come into Bombay thinking there's Bollywood and all the big things in Bombay. And then they get kidnapped by, you know, people, wicked people who turn them into prostitutes or whatever. But this home that I support gives them education, clothing, teaches them a trade, and gives them a life they would never have had otherwise. So this is very close to our heart. And that is the, the main reason, of course, to meet you all at the wonderful evening. But my main reason is to raise a few dollars to give these children. Because every dollar means a lot of rupees to them. And it will, but one day, we've all done well with God's, with God's grace. So I would plead to you all to, you know, I mean, these are autographed cricket bats by Sachin Tendulkar, Dhoni, Sehwag, Jadeja, Pant, everybody, all, all the top guys are out there. All the legends, cricket legends of India. Virat Kohli, everyone decided. Virat Kohli's wife not decided. <laughs> because she wasn't asked to. <laughs> but, uh, so what I'm going to do? auction these bats or something, you know, whatever, whatever the Gurdjie suggests we'll do. But the whole idea is to raise some money for these unfortunate children. What is the next question? Well, uh, I forgot to welcome one special person also. Judy is also in the audience, uh, Arubai's wife, so please put your hands together and welcome Judy and Jamea. So Parukh Bhai, people have all, always thought about that if Parukh engineer was not a cricketer, I have heard stories that you would be flying planes or be with uh, something, something <laughs> else. <Volume. laughs> <laughs> Which I didn't do. <laughs> no, I mean, although my name is engineer, my father was a doctor by profession. Can you imagine him being called Dr. Engineer all his life? I mean, as a kid, he did the funny side of it, you know. But growing up, you realize Dr. Engineer. So, I'm dreading Sunil Gavaskar, my friend, very good friend, who I'm seeing tomorrow. He has had five doctorates. I'm dreading anyone offering me a doctorate, because I don't want to be called Dr. Engineer. But I mean, um, yeah, I was a... Uh, you know, doing my matriculation in Don Bosco. Sashi and I both failed in 10 standards. We're both tough words you now. So, anyway, so we went to Budar College. It's a long story how I joined the college. I got free ship, and I thought I'd been a burden on my parents all my life. So, college has given me free ship, wants me to build a cricket team around me. So, Budar College started the cricket team, and now Budar College is the champions of intercollege in, 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 in Bombay. Because people like Ravi Shastri, Dilip Mengsar, you heard these names? Yes. Yeah, Sanjay Mandrika, they all went. And even actors like Akshay Kapoor and all that. So we went to Don Bosco School and Bodhar College just because you went. So I mean, you feel, you feel ancient, but you feel proud that these guys are, you know. So there was no cricket in Don Bosco School, or either football or athletics and all that. So, I mean, I uh, played my serious cricket only while at university. And once you start, you know, for college, probably university, 
Bombay Ranji Trophy and that was great. It was more difficult to come in the Bombay Ranji Trophy team those days. You know. By the way, how many of you are from Gujarat? Majority? I must say a big thank you to you. Had it not been for you all, we Parsis wouldn't have been allowed in India. <laughs> You heard the story about the sugar and all that. I don't know how far it's true. That, uh, but this is why Gujarati and Parsi or Samban, we are very strong. We copied your language, you know. I mean, Gujarati, Maria, you know. When we don't speak sure Gujarati and Parsi. You know, if you ever hear a Parsi speaking Hindi or Marathi, I try to be different and I try to speak less. Clear as possible. But the average pass, my, my very good friend Bhavani Rani, you heard of Bhavani Rani? Yeah, yeah. He plays my part in the 83 film. Do you know that? Have you seen the 83 movie? Yes, yes. Yeah. You know, he plays my part. He plays the part of Ferdinand Engineer. So he came especially stayed at our house, you know, and he grew sideburns and all that, which, which I had in my, in my play days, those were the days, you know. And uh, that picture looks like a we used to get paid 50 rupees. <laughs> Sorry, dear, I'm digressing. No, no, you tell me off. We used to get paid 50 rupees a day, 250 rupees for a five day test match. You know, but that's rupiah. And that was, of course, it was 18 rupees to a pound or 11 rupees to a dollar those days. But still, 50 rupees a day was a bottle of control for cricket in India, minting money. You know, and uh, the still are. But we were paid 50 rupees a day. So myself and Gavaskar were batting against New Zealand and beating them in four days. And we had to get, on the fourth evening, we had to get about 15, 20 runs to win. And about half an hour then. So we were getting all sorts of messages from the dressing room. Suddenly started blocking. Even New Zealand were worried about to finish the game. Well, there's a good reason. 50 rupees. The so first one, I think, next morning, I had a four or a six or something like that, and we won the game. But what a big applause for the team! We all got 50 rupees each. I mean, nowadays in IPL, Sachin, all this jokes with Sachin Tendulkar, that I would be the highest paid earner, Dhoni. The only jokes with his wife when he introduced me to Sarshi's wife, he said, this is for a junior, you don't know, you know, because you're very young. And your parents also met, might not know him. But thank God he's not playing these days. Otherwise, I would have been still punching tickets on Ranji Station. <laughs> Joking he told his wife. But that is the affection they have for me, which is very important, that respect to senior cricketers, as Indians. We are very polite people. We are allowed, we are show respect to our elders, to our senior players, senior, you know, citizens and all that. And that respect is culture that the Western world doesn't, doesn't understand. You know, why there's so much respect for parents and all that. And that's why when you talk about parents or senior people, we have brought them to respect. So much so. I was off count in a county cricket. I was offered contracts for four English counties. And when well, Lancashire, the game against Lancashire was at a place called Southport and there were railway lines. And I kept on getting this opening bowler for about 15, 20 sixes. Till somebody told me that that was a great Brian Statham bowling to me. You heard the name Brian Statham, Truman and Statham, you know, all of the English bowlers. You all lived in Canada for too long, I think. Yeah. So I felt almost guilty and I apologized to him. I'm sorry to say to myself, you're a great bowler, you know. But I felt sorry that I hit him for all those sixes. I was glad not hit him, but later on I felt guilty. But that is the respect we have. This is what I'm trying to show. By the way, cheers. Am I the only one having a drink? No. <laughs> Oh, you are Chuba Rustam, eh? Tum log put your glasses on the table. Are you all enjoying this? Happy day, happy day. Great. 
How's so, your uh, Farooq Bhai, you had two rivals when you were growing up as a wicket to batsman. Nare Tamane and Buddhi Kudran. For my wife. <laughs> rivals in what? Rivals in <laughs> So, the question that I have, see, I have to be very, very attentive because he is so quick-witted individual. So, I have to pay attention to every sentence Farooq Bhai says. But, uh, he can only do it with good friends. Yes, thank you. So, Buddhi Kundaran and uh, Narendra Bhane were defensive minded wicketkeepers. What Farooq Bhai brought to the plate was, you know, first Liko Nigaldo, second Liko Nigaldo, I am good enough to dive and take those catches, and you can feel those good feelers elsewhere to save runs. That aggressiveness of a wicketkeeper was born in Indian cricket because of Farooq Bhai. Nidhik made a very good point, but it was sheer madness, and we passed the half man, as you know. <laughs> because of madness or perhaps confidence, you know, that I can reach it because I've got gloves, I've got a better chance of catching the ball than most people without gloves. So I used to go for first slip, second slip catches, and all that, not just by diving. By using your footwork, you 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 you're halfway there, either on the leg side or offside. By using your feet, and then even if it goes further, you dive. As well, they just they just stand there, flat-footed, and they just dive for anything that comes. You know, when I'm watching television, I said, "Come on, man, use your feet and get to the swing of the ball. Make your catch easier. Don't look like every ball is difficult to pick." So halfway there, but. These days, there are batsmen wicketkeepers. My name, they're purely batsmen, and it started from Tony and all that, you know. Richard Pant is the batsman wicketkeeper. But in our time, they were pure wicketkeeper batsmen. That means you're primarily the team as a wicketkeeper. But batting, you get runs, is, is wonderful. It's a bonus to the team. But you're primarily the team as a wicketkeeper. So the batsman wicketkeeper is the wicketkeeper batsman. We don't look at too technical, we are in Canada. They are doing the Red Tawane and Fundano. I don't know if they have heard these names. But, uh, yes, so that was the start of the Wiki TV. You know, in a local Parsi club, nobody... My brother was a very, very good off-spinner, the rats. You know, and anything, an off-spinner on a dirty wicket, anything that goes down the leg side, was four buys, you know. Now, I, as a youngster sitting in the pavilion, thinking the batsman is out of his crease trying to drive and missing the ball, is going four wise. Why can't the wicket keeper come and stump the batsman with the leg side? So, first time I kept wickets, I got three leg side stumblings. And they thought, all right, instead of going four leg wise, we get your wicket here. You know? So, that's how I, I got tremendous encouragement from my, my mother and my father. You know, tremendous. My mother died at a young age. My father being a doctor, medical profession. But he was captain of his grand medical college in Bombay. You know? Are you, are you a doctor? How many of you are doctors here? Only only Dinesh, but we have one here. Yeah. One here. One here. Qualified from Bombay or in, in Bombay. Bombay? Do you know Grand Medical College? Of course. Yes. Were you, which one were you in? Government Dental. Okay, right. Because my father was a grand medical college cricket captain, basically. And uh, so, I mean, I inherited cricket from my father, thing, and my brother. I was a, I was a qualified pilot, and I, I wanted to take flying as my, as my career. But a little thing called cricket got in the way, and I thought it's not a bad life. I mean, when I started my career, there were like, Advertising contracts. You know, for I was the first person to be asked to model for Brill Cream. So the first in the out of the old Indian team or out of all Bollywood also. You know, Brill Cream was a product that only Dennis Compton from England, Keith Miller from Australia, to be invited to model for Brill Cream was like being on the cover of Vogue magazine those days. It was like a big thing. So, I mean, 
I felt hugely honored when Rikram asked me to, you know, do that. And after me, the fourth person was a guy called David Beckham. Do you heard of David Beckham's name? Yeah. yeah. He, he lives in America. My, he was a good friend. He played for Manchester United, so, you know, we got very friendly there. Because I used to play golf with Alex Ferguson, regularly before he got had his heart treatment. So, I mean, that was the scenario that I, that I grew up in. I keep on apologizing for digressing. No, 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 this is a, you are a wicked keeper. You are allowed to do anything you want. I want to take everybody back uh, down memory lane 55 years ago. Imagine 1967, Chepok Stadium in Madras, and then now Chennai. Day one of the test match, Farooq Manikshi, engineer, opening the innings. He smashed 96 runs before lunch. 96 runs before lunch. We talking about Rishabh Pant now. He was the father of Rishabh Pant back then. So then what happened? Lunch time and then post lunch, Lance Gibbs. And mind you, this 96 runs came not from any Chila Chalo words, okay? We're talking about Hall, Griffin, and of course the great Sir Garfield Sobers. These were the bowlers against him. This young man, back 55 years ago, smacked 96 runs before lunch. And post lunch, Lance gives the famous off spinner from the West Indies comes in to bowl. And Farouk Bai smacks him for a six. It goes outside Chepok, and he said that the ball is still traveling. So Farooq Bhai, your memory is about that particular area because that is what brought Farooq engineer in huge limelight. Well, I think I got a few 90s before that. You know, I got 90 or years New Zealand before lunch. I could have got a hundred century before lunch. Those days it was unheard of. You know, it was unheard of. We had a bachelor called Uncle Roy. He said, Arey, you shouldn't even eat a boundary before lunch, he said. <laughs> And he's the one who's got maximum zeros in test cricket out of the whole Indian team. <laughs> but my, luckily, with God's grace, I had a good eye. And when I, when West Indies bowlers, West Hall, Charlie Griffiths, Roy Gilchrist, and they tried to kill the shoulders. They tried to kill the batsman first. And if they thought, if we can't kill him, we might as well try and get him out. So instead of trying to get me out, they were trying to kill me. And the more I hit them for fours and sixes, the more bouncers and beamers I was getting, which suited me because I had a good eye and I wanted them. I used to hit little outswingers and something like that. I, the ball, the quick ball that comes to me, it goes off the bat quicker. And how many times I so I chided a bigger bat there. You know, we didn't have woods like these days. These bats itself, without the signatures, would cost like 300 pounds, 500 dollars. You know? And uh, but in our time, the bats were so poorly made. The sweet spot was such a small spot that, like every sport, has had its improvement. Tennis rackets, there were larger sweet spot. Golf clubs, there were larger sweet spot. Cricket bats, the whole bat is now people hit on the edge, and the ball goes for a six. You must have seen in IBM matches and all that. So I mean, um, the bats were not made, they were very small speed. So you had to hit it exactly in that little position to hit the ball out of the ground for six. And luckily, on your day, and I used the base of the bowling. Yes, you're right, 94 before lunch, actually, you know? So when I came into the pavilion, everyone was saying, Are you only Don Bradman and Charlie McCartney, two Australians, about 100 before lunch. But I wasn't concerned about my performance. I was concerned about the team getting a good tour, you know. So, first over after lunch, Lance Gibbs got out to walk. Now he's an off spinner. For all morning of bounces and beamers, someone coming and tossing the ball up. You know, naturally my eyes were, you know, that big, it's really wide now. So I hit him straight. He went straight outside the stadium, and as Dilesh Bhai says, the, no one found the ball, it's still traveling, I think. 
So if you see, if you go to Chekhov or Madras, you see them all traveling, you know, that's the world. <laughs> so I mean, uh, yeah, that, that was, you know, happy memories. But I didn't realize it was 55 years ago. It had, to me, it appears like it happened only yesterday. You know, and um, you forget, you forget all these things. You can't live on laurels all your life. You've got to look ahead to fresh challenges, to the next challenge. You know, you've got to be progressive minded and you know, all that. It's good. The historians and people who talk about it and all that, which is, which is wonderful. Great for a man's ego. But I have always been looking ahead in time. What can I do next? What, how can I serve my country better? You know, and, and so that's all. But thank you for reminding me. You don't look 55 years old anyway. How many whiskeys have you had so far? That you didn't give me a parsley bag. Not a patiala bag. Not a patiala bag. So we will get into that uh, comment in the Hindi commentary. For patiala, you and Kapil Dev that you shared in the back. We'll come to that. But I want to take you back. That is a bad word. <laughs> it's not that bad a word. I don't think so, but. No. You know, I've taken, taken off air for that. I think they have all heard of that bad word, I'm sure, but we'll, we'll get to that. Gali wali to nahi hai. Can I? Yeah, can I? Because you tell it and I repeat it again. So. <laughs> Kapil and I have a commentary. Can you imagine putting a Parsi to do Hindi commentary? <laughs> I mean, that was a big falling in the first place. Because somebody in Hindi commentary didn't come, and I was commentating on English. You know, with Sunil Kavsky and all that. And Sunil wasn't keen to speak to the for to Jayat. So people, it was raining at, at logs. So Kapil and I were reminiscing about the ABC World Cup. When I, I was in the English commentator's box, I was the only Indian commentator commentating for Test Match Special. Now, Brian Johnston, a great English commentator, India were about to win. And he says, Farouk, would Mrs. Gandhi, who was the Prime Minister then, declare a public holiday when India win? I said, you were about to win. I said, uh, I have no doubt Mrs. Gandhi is an avid test match special. So my point is, I go to jail. But the way around. There are Romeos, I'm not here as well. You're putting me off here to that. So where, where was that? Yeah, the commentator's box. Uh, Brian Johnson said, you know, would Mrs. Gandhi declare a public holiday? And I said, I have no doubt she should have it, as if she had the time to listen to commentary now. But within 15 minutes, we got a message through to BBC headquarters and onto the Lord's cricket ground in the commentator's box that Mrs. Gandhi has in fact heard your comments and declared a public holiday. So I was describing this to Kapil in Hindi. And then I said, Bill, look, hurt the <laughs> Sorry, ladies. I didn't say what, but they. I just said, being a Parsi, I've been surprised you avoided, avoided that word. But I said, the and that was the last of my Hindi commentary days. Because so said, we can't have a man talking such vulgar language. Yeah, vulgar language. But Parsi is like good morning or good afternoon. <laughs> So I mean that, that was the end of my Hindi commentary days. But Kapil and I were, we still laugh about it. You know, and I still did, I didn't, I didn't do anything really wrong. After all that, how about the way or something like that? But the way comes to mind still. Do you all think it was very bad? No. No, I don't think so. But the way you must have some passing blood in you. So that, that is the thing. So from uh, going back 55 years, now let's go back 51 years. 1971 at the Oval, history was made on that ground. And uh, India needed 171 to win that particular test match. Uh, and uh, Farooq Bhai played a huge part in that. And what we have here on the screen is the footage from uh, the YouTube that you will see about the 1971 test match at the Oval 
India versus England. England was captained by Illingworth, and I'm going to tell you about what Illingworth said about Karupai, which was uh, something that I learned recently. So if you can please roll that, Sandeep. What did Illingworth say? Keeping us all in suspense. Let's watch this one. 1971 was a milestone year in the annals of Indian cricket history. India had won the first test series against West Indies in West Indies. Like your time, but still we won the match and it was a historical occasion. There was even an elephant brought on the ground. You know, my, am I rubbing my eyes? Can I, I'm in the middle of the pitch and seeing somebody bring a little baby elephant inside the ground. I mean, how much more do you want us to, to make us feel at home? As a Hattipi But I mean, uh, that is the euphoria of the Indian people. You know, the love and the passion and all that. So I mean, um, it was an unforgettable location, but yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sorry to interject. No, no please. Sir, what a great pleasure it is to meet you. Amazing, amazing. I'm becoming so nostalgic when you talk about that match because I was 13 years of age that day uh, when that match occurred, and the victory parade was carried out from Santa Cruz Airport to the Vibon Stadium. And I was waiting for the victory parade at Shivaji Park because my grandma used to live in Shivaji Park. There were two Parsi restaurants because there were Parsi restaurants all over that time in India, or Mumbai. As soon as the, Shua, the victory parade came near now, which is now, there was a Parsi restaurant. I was chasing you guys on my feet, every car, way we get you, shake, try to shake hands with you. I remember that so clearly. I chased your parade till Portuguese church and then the crowd was so huge. I said, okay, at least I got to say, at least shook hand or whatever I did. I did that. I was huffing and puffing. So what, I became so nostalgic. Thank you. I'm from Virat, by the way. Virat town, little town. You're from where? Virat. Virat. Yeah. That was the end of the... The railway station, yeah. yeah. So on the, the last station on, on BBS, yeah. Yeah, railway station. So I had a little transistor my father had bought, yes, yes, and I was waiting for my father and train to come. Yeah. And I was trying to balance the transistor here and there and here and there. And every time the weekend took the ship to the weekend, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I tell you now one story? Yes. I wasn't there on that parade. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Yeah. I was contracted with Lancashire. And I had a game next day in Lancashire versus Yorkshire. So while the whole team went back for a ticket day well, welcome, I had to drive down up from London, from Oval to Manchester in the night after the match, after a few drinks, in fact, to we celebrate champagne and all that. And there was an Indian restaurant called Mumtaz who had dinner for the boys. And I told him, but with a time date in the Karega, I would have drive to Manchester. So they packed me some tandoori chicken in a, in a silver foil. And I was driving on the M1 and M6, eating tandoori chicken, while all the other players were getting ticket date welcome in India. And I was one of the main architects of the victory. But I was contracted, and I didn't want to let my county down, you know. Yeah. And. Uh, so that, that, that uh, next morning, when I went out to open the innings with David Lloyd actually, I got a standing ovation of 100,000 people at Old Trafford. Standing ovation from the majority of the English people. And I thought, these English people are giving me a standing ovation. I have just shouted their company the day before. And the same people are giving me a standing ovation. You know, almost brought a tear to my eye that shows the sportiness of the, of the British people. I was really touched by that. Yeah, yeah. But that, 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 that was a story. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember because the Kwarika and all, you know, the first day, the Prime Minister and all that. Yeah. I was given a Padma Shri then. I still not seen any certificate or medals or any money or whatever. But I got a letter. Of, I got a, no, I got a certificate later, so, but my Shri, which was a, a great honor, you know. Thank God it was a doctorate, it was my first year.
But thank you, sir, for, for remembering me. And I apologize to you that I wasn't there that day. But I would have come down from the coach and shaken your hands and told you, sir, see you 55 years later. <laughs> Thanks for the memory. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So, we all know that Arun played for Lancashire and uh, he won the Gillette Cup four times for Lancashire and he is extremely popular when you go that part of England. And his roommate for many years was uh, Clyde Lloyd. So, I want to ask Arun about those days that you spent with uh, the great Clyde Lloyd. Well, yeah. You're getting me to blast it now. <laughs> I'm trying to be good. Gandhi did it there. But sharing the room with Clyde Lloyd. I mean, I'm sure the males in the room would understand. The first man ever to give me an inferiority complex was when he came out of the showers. <laughs> I always do it with my brother. Come on, brother. But, uh, it was enjoyable, you know, we are, I'm seeing Clive tomorrow in fact. Tomorrow I'm with Clive, oh, Sunil Gavaskar, Will Richards. We're all in Detroit. We're going there tomorrow. And since I was going there, they let myself run to Chicago, Chicago. My wife and I, you, you've been to Chicago before, but I've never been. But it's been a wonderful experience. To the, when the river cruise saw all the wonderful buildings, the history of Chicago. I didn't realize the big thing was just raining outside. And uh, the big thing was a shower. It's a Lloyd shower. Big thing was a was baby. I didn't even know that. Because I used to have to eat chewing gum all the time. I used to have a nice for some chewing gum. I used to have a nice for a scooter. Lumber Dow, that's for a scooter. Oh, that's a lovely story again. Don't mind me in distress. Of course not. As this was series in India, England India series. And there was a prize for a moped scooter. One one of the you know prizes was that. Now I was flying to England that same night to, uh, to fulfill my contract with Lancashire. So I couldn't take a scooter with me. So I was just presenting this new scooter. The young boy, Chapal Mamitra, you know, he looked a poor guy. He, he just gave him autograph, you know, and I said, I said, and I was rushing to the airport, I had to go to the airport, it was already late. I said, can you ride a bicycle? He said, yes, why do you ask me? He said, listen, I've got a scooter here, well, moped, that you, you, you know, yeah, yeah. if you can use it, I want to give you to you as a present. Oh my God. You know, but he said, I don't have any money. I said, nah, I don't want any money from you. But first, take a round of CCI inside, let me see if you can ride it. I don't want you to crash on your way home or something, you know. So he took a run. You know, he couldn't believe it. I said, go home, good luck, use it. And I gave him that thing. So, poor boy. Next time I came to India to play in the series, this young boy came to the hotel, he found out, put his hand in his pocket, gave him a wad of money. I said, what is this for? He said, you gave me that mobile scooter and that brought me luck in life. I got a job through it, you know. Now I work with the Tatma Hotel, he says, and all that. But thanks to that moment, I was able to get that job. I said, no, son, you keep the money. I hope it keeps on bringing you good luck. He said, I would never sell it as long as I live. I'll, I'll admire it. So, I mean, you feel you've just done a little good deed here and there. But it's helping somebody, you know. But this is absolutely true. So, it's there must be tired of hearing about 55 no, 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 years ago and all that. Are any, any of you any, uh, any tired? Uh, no, 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 please, no, no, no. please interact. I want to hear from you. Any questions you have? Yeah, we will. We will uh, open it up. Uh, today my heart knows no limits. Where Sorry? Today my heart knows no limits because I see you in person today. And I would like to say one thing. Along with Tiger, Mansoor Ali Khan, Patodi, yes. MLJ Singh, yes. you were equally the same kind of crowd, puller, batsman, you, cricketer, you know. Thank you. And my father, like many others over here, my father, I, I saw, I grew up watching you play. 
and rather listening to you on the commentary, you know, right? you commentary, uh, yeah. and with watching you playing, opening the game with Jai Singh, huh? both of you, yeah. great crowd pullers, must be a treat to the eyes and I really think. Are you from Hyderabad? No, I am from Ahmedabad. From Ahmedabad? Yeah. The English was so high on my mind. There is a story, Jaisi Ma, that I Chango Ma, I'm I'm going to learn Chango Ma. Sorry, lady. You know, there is a song called Nakhre Wali, Nakhre Wali. Guys, when we open the innings, I just just joking. I said, Jai Nakhre Wali. We saw a Malayan player. We got face bowlers going 100 miles per hour. I said, don't be silly, they can only, they got a ball in their hands, you are a bat. They can only ball one ball at a time to you. You know, have some guts at it. Show them what Hyderabad is all about. Khali biryani, show them that you can bat also. So he used to always tell me, you just give me confidence going out to open the innings with you. And it all started from Nakhrewali. So thank you, sir, for your kind words. I'm very grateful to you. My father you. was very fond of you. He was very, he was your great friend. God bless him. I presume he is no more with us. Thank you. But, oh, sincere, he is watching us. He is listening to you, telling me his story. Thank you. Thank you. This God is great. You know, that is why I am an immense believer in God. You know, there is only one God. But, all I say, I say my prayers in the morning, at night, just a little bit. But I've got tremendous faith. But mostly I say to God, thank you. Maybe. Thank you for all you've done for me. Thank you for good health. You know, God has given us my wife and I work. You know, we're not rich. We, there was no IPL in our days. Uh, we got me 50 rupees and all that. But at least I'm 85 almost. And thank God I'm in good health. Whereas, Having said that, I won't interrupt it. No, no, don't say but that. But it's friends and well wishes who have kept us alive. And I think a sense of humor. If you have a sense of humor, it keeps you young. You know? I'm exceedingly lucky to have a lovely wife like Julie. Please give her a big hand. <laughs> because without her, I'm nothing. I'm totally. Depend, dependent on her. I was at Gary Silver's three days ago in, in, at a Lord's test, a lost few days ago. And he, he's married and he said, I, even on the golf course, I, my wife has to take me these days. It becomes so, so dependent. But the thing is that my wife and I are very, we're very close, you know, and that is very important. She's not only my wife, she's my best friend. And that is, very, very good. I'm very fortunate. I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have had. We got four lovely daughters. One is in Miami. She's got her own recruitment company. Other daughter is in Dubai. She is with Adidas, you know, doing. So, I mean, Bhagwan has been very good to us. And, and I'm very grateful. That's why I say to God, thank you. Every morning and night. So I didn't want to finish that 1981 story about uh, the England captain uh, Ray Lingward. So Ray Lingward had said at that time. Can I can I have request Maruk Saab to uh, share his memories about Shivaji Park because I used to go to watch you guys. Marathi bolte kya tumhe? Marathi bolte. Marathi bolte. Marathi bolte. Aami ko Marathi bolte. Bolte na. Kar kore ni pakre bolte. But uh, let me finish the Ray Lingward story. Ray Lingward, after the 1971 India win at the Oval, said that uh, when they met later on that Farooq engineer's innings that time at the Oval was compared to Kapil Dev's innings of the 1983 World Cup winning innings. And this is coming from nobody else but Ray Lingward. So that tells you the quality of innings Parul Bhai played at the Oval, which of course is part of history, part of 
cricketing folklore. He but also said something else. That he also said that India had a distinct advantage because they were playing in front of their home crowd. Although it was at the Oval, the majority of spectators were Indians. So he thought, and also being an elephant there, so he thought, you know, so that elephant was one of the finest captains, you know, England have had. And it was a great thing putting one, one over here. Talking about how you guys and your parents had love for Parul Bhai and the cricketers of that generation, one quick thing was Varun Bhai was once driving in Lancashire and he was speeding and a cop stopped him and he was going to write a ticket and he found out, oh, this is Varun Bhai's India. There is no way I can write a ticket to you because my father would kill me. <laughs> and this is a real story. And uh, have you met that cop since? Yes, funny enough. He just about a week or two weeks later, there was a charity event in one of the pubs where they used to invite celebrities and they used to build piles of pennies those days. And the celebrities used to push the pennies and it be all used to, all the money used to go to blind people. You know it was charity for the blind. So people were there and pennies used to big pile of big piles, pennies had up, you know, and I was going to sort of bound in the thing, you know. But those pennies and we used to sign autographs, take selfies and all that with people. And this young man came to me, he said, Can I have a, your autograph, sir? You know, I said, Of course. He said, You don't you don't recognize me? I said, I'm sorry, I don't, you know, I don't want to fool you that I do. He said, I'm the cop who caught you speeding 90 miles per hour. I don't know that Harupa is here for uh, a very special reason. It's uh, to raise funds for the needy and he has done some human work uh, in this for many many years so please donate to his charity uh, open up your wallets he also has uh, four cricket packs which have been signed by celebrities like Mahendra Singh Dhoni, Sachin Tendulkar, Virat Kohli, Rishabh Pant even the entire current Indian team is on one of the packs and uh, if you are willing to donate, Varupa uh, is willing to share that we with you. To, we want to auction it, if it's alright with Jagmanji. Yeah, that's huh? So, in, uh, would, uh, is there interest happening to Varupa? Yeah, I mean, I don't know, you can see these bats here. You know, there are four bats all together, but let's talk about the first bat. These somebody sorry. You have to say something? Oh I'm sorry. Don't don't scratch your nose on it. It's considered a two thousand pound bit. No, so I mean it is these are not easy to come back. It takes years to get all these signatures and all that, you know. But main thing it goes to the homeless children back home in India. Every penny, every cent will go there, you know. And uh, you see, Richard Pants, there's Gary Slovis here as well, Brian Lara, Dhoni, Rahul Dravid, Virat Kohli, Hardy Pandya, you know, Vrinda Seva, myself, Bhumra, they're all here, you know. I mean, we're looking for a couple of thousand dollars. Every penny, and you'll get blessings with those children for this. You know, is anyone prepared to to make me an offer for that? Don't feel obligated, but you know, this this is one of the reasons that I've I've come in. Jagmandi, your staff wanted, I think Kumar wanted. No, he wanted. So I mean, uh, I don't know. These are say if if not, don't worry. I mean, you know, it's not a thing, but. I've got, I've got some miniature bats as well, you know, that, uh, that are probably not the same. Yeah. See, these are like 
miniature to the bad side. All right. So the first one, I think let's you pick this one, right? Yeah. Anyone? They're all the same. Oh, they're all the same. Yep. Yeah. All right. So the first trick in that, right? Uh, Five hundred dollars. We're gonna start the auction with. So let's see. Uh, Five hundred dollars. Five fifty. Five fifty. Yep. Okay, anyone for 750? 750. Okay, we're still at 550. 750. Okay, 750. Guys, it's most of the cricket players here now and current, so. Love. No, 200, 950. So 950, 950. We have one at 950. Guys, most other players are on here, so. Chalo, go ito karo. 950. We want to keep a reserve of at least $1,500. That, that's, the, that's the lowest, because it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. If you put the same thing on eBay, I'm sure you get it, but I don't want you to put it on eBay. Yeah, no one will sell it. No, oh, oh, you may not get it. Yeah. Oh, something like that. But no, no, it's here, but no one will sell it. It's, it's no, 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 really not. So, but yeah. uh, I mean, it would be worth at least three, four thousand dollars. But who is who is prepared to get fifteen hundred at least? That, that, that's the well, first. Thank you very much, sir. That is yours, fifteen hundred. Thank you. Is there anyone else prepared to give me fifteen hundred? Give you a second one to begin for fifteen hundred. Okay, let's do one. You guys come up and select which one you want. Please come and select. They select it. They're all the same. No, no, no. But now they're different. They're different colors. No, different. What is it? Are you all same? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Same. 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 Yeah, yeah. Come on, we need. We got two souls. Two us is here to get the other. You can share it with the family or your relatives or something. It'll bring you good luck. It'll bring you, your children, and all that. Because it's for. Okay. okay, one more for fifteen hundred. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. You don't want to take one back home, do you? Anyone? Yeah, it doesn't matter because I'm going to destroy it, I'm sure. He said, but I would love in Chicago to someone to have it. I'll tell you what, I've got these. I've got some videos, you know. Would, is the signatures that are more important than the, 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 the bag. They're more or less the same signatures, but like. Okay, I'm gonna take the bags away for fifteen hundred dollars each. Okay. okay. What? Big round of applause to everyone. Yeah, please. Right. Thank, you. And thank you very much indeed. On behalf of those underprivileged children. That, that, is, that, is the, that is the most important thing. Would, would you all consider it was... We don't like it. One man, one man. One man, one man. One man, one man. One man, one man. Can you all four guys? Yeah, we're good. Everybody who got the bat, please come on the stage. With Arun Bhai. With Arun Bhai. One man here, go, go. But I've got something that might interest you. I've got a wicket keeping glove which is signed by all the top wicket keepers of the world. No, I'm not that good. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm I know. Yeah, I just brought it along. I'm going to take you to Detroit actually. The amount but of catches that you have done, he's probably missed more than that. <laughs> this is the wicket keeping glove signed. It's the hardest position to play that now we can keep us will never understand. No, that's true. You're very much in the game. 
but typically in such a part of you may have a reasonable view for you. But, I, but I thank you very much. Okay, can you, excuse me, can you take one picture please? My name is Prashant. Prashant, thank you very much indeed. I will thank you all. Thank you. Mr. Engineer, uh, please. This, it will bring you good luck for your... Hello, sir, please. What time do you want to be in the middle? Yes. Come here, please. Yes. 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 You guys just want to meet me here so you all can look still. That's right. <laughs> Hello, guys. Sir, please, can you come? <laughs> sir, please. No, no, hold on, hold on. Dada log ni aayenge to paste. Ha, photo lo aayega. Ah, thank you. 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 Thank your bags again signed by Tendulkar, Dhoni, Umra, Pant, Pandya, Ravid, Rahane, Virat Kohli. Now, what? Would, would anyone be interested in what? Three hundred dollars or something? Three hundred, thank you. How many? Three? Three hundred? Okay. Maybe I'm saying it too cheap. No. I mean, it's more for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You guys come on yeah. the stage. Please come on the stage. Yeah. Who, everybody, who is big for the video? Yeah. Yeah. How many did you use? We have. Uh, I'll, I'll just see how many. This is a cap. Actually used by Sachin Tendulkar. And his signature is here. You know, I mean, what piece of art? I mean, the cap is not worth much, but the cap that is used by Sachin Tendulkar, it'd be a lifetime. You know, a thousand dollars or something? I don't know. Is it too much? Five hundred, five hundred dollars. Huh? Does it fit you? Though? Uh, you don't wear it, hang it on your wall. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, can we take a picture please, everybody? Picture time. One more, anyone? Thank you. Thank you. Please have a seat. Give me a big hand. This bag is 500. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Everybody pay five. I think so. That is good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, everybody. Uh, as we continue this uh, lovely interactive session, um, I've got one more cap, Sachin Tendulkar. If anyone wants, five hundred me kar de. Sachin Tendulkar's hat. If anyone wants, it's here. I have it. Love sir. Come and take it. No, 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 no. कितने हेड बचे हैं आपके पास? नहीं बस दो ही हैं। क्या नंबर है? नहीं नहीं बिल्ला। नहीं नंबर है? नहीं 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 बिल्ला। ओनली ओनली टू। ये तो ग्लास है ना ये बोलो विकेट बिंग ग्लास। मेनी फॉर्मर विकेट चिपर्स। आई विश आई हैड मोर। बट आई आस सच सचिन इज अ गुड Supporter of my charity, he gave me his couple of hats. How much do you expect for the glove? It's a, all by world stock wicket keepers, you know. Okay. But you know, normally, it's worth in England, it's worth like three, four thousand pounds. But uh, one thousand, we take out. One thousand dollars. One thousand dollars for this glove signed by. Or or make me a decent offer. It's not cost me anything. Again, this is going to a charity that is very Maharaj, close. if you want it, you can have a five hundred dollars because you're a wicked keeper. Panso, panso. Please give it up. I, I, I feel like there are more options. Panso, it was uh, very thoughtful of you to bring uh, these uh, 
Marker pen. 